Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 25th, 2021. Hey, we had quite a day yesterday. It was light and choppy price action, but we still set record highs in a couple of markets yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you all for being here. also want to thank those new folks that might have become subscribers that were listening to that um, e-learning session last night. Thanks everyone for being here. Hey, I want to remind everyone that I will be doing a class on Thursday um, Thursday afternoon, it is a beginning or beginner option class, and um, I will leave a link in the description um, below the title of the video today. If you have an interest in that, you will also receive, um, if you sign up for that class, a, um, a month of hit and run candlesticks and right way options to help support that education as you move forward. It is meant for those beginning option traders, those folks that are struggling with options. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. And honestly, it's going to be more about economic data first thing this morning as to how we're going to move. Now, we started out um, with all the futures kind of pushing to the upside this morning, but just a few moments ago, we got mortgage numbers and um, uh, mortgage um, uh, mortgages kind of um, saw a, a decrease, uh, mortgage rates decreased for the first time in three weeks. And um, there was still a very light response to mortgage applications. So we've seen uh, futures pull back just a little bit since that number come at, came out. Now let's take a look here, um, what we've got going on. If we take a look here at the Dow, we still have a little bit of price resistance right in here. We pushed up in there and tested on that. And one of the things I talked about last night in our session is after we break through a resistance level like this, we have to consider the possibility that a rest or a pullback into here would not be out of the question. And if that were to occur, we're going to want to watch that for that really closely. And what we're waiting for is we're waiting for some retail sales data to really kind of show show us whether or not we can support these current prices. So watch that closely. That possibility does exist of a little resting pullback. But also keep in mind, if we get a good retail sales number, there'd be no reason to believe that we won't just pop right on through and push on out. Now, one thing we have seen here recently on some of these bad economic numbers is um, good economic numbers promote the market to the upside. Bad economic numbers have been ignored and we promote the market to the upside. Um, so it is possible that we could have a bad number. And please keep in mind, consensus is suggesting retail sales will come in with a negative print this morning. That's the consensus. If the consensus, um, if it comes in worse than that negative consensus coming in, we could certainly see some negative reaction to that. If it comes in as expected, market might just shrug it off and completely ignore it and continue to move higher. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But right now, let's keep a close eye on this. Everything could change an hour before the market open with those retail sales numbers. Uh, we could get much more bullish or we could get much more bearish. So hold on, keep your eyes on the market here. Anything is possible. Now, one thing I, I will point out here is that we are continuing to hold on to this trend, albeit we've been getting these very ugly, shocking pullbacks in that trend and making it very, very challenging for a lot of traders. So kind of keep an eye on that as we continue to try and press this market higher. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY set new record highs yesterday um, with a very, very tiny 
bit of price action in here, a lot of chop. And notice that our volume is dropping pretty dramatically here on the day. Now that could be just simply a wait for the retail sales numbers. It could be us gearing up for the Jackson Hole Symposium and what the Fed might say about tapering. I don't know. But it was kind of a light and choppy day. And as you can see this morning in the pre-market, also just a little bit light and choppy with a little bit of negativity here after that mortgage applications number. Now let's keep in mind it would not be out of the question that we just rest up here. We'd put in some choppy consolidation in here to rest after breaking out. It also has to be considered if we do get a bearish number, could we pull back and test some of these price support levels after such a strong reversal back up, wouldn't be out of the question to see some pullback in here to come back and test some of these levels. But keep in mind, those could be rather painful pullbacks. And we'll wanna watch that closely depending on how that price action lays out and the clues that it might leave behind. So just keep in mind after a big run up like this, a little bit of rest, not out of the question, a little bit of pullback, not out of the question, but it's really going to depend on that retail sales number this morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ has been rip roaring to the upside, over 600 point gain in four trading days, going from a break of support to a new record high all in one move. And this rally has really been, even in the SPY, has been largely based on the tech giants um, gaining tremendous support in these prices and continuing to push them up well beyond most logical metrics for um, P&E ratios. But we don't seem to care about that right now. It's just buy anything and buy everything and push to the upside. So these are still pressing really, really hard. And I want to point out after such a big reversal rally, we do have this price support and we have to kind of consider the possibility that we could pull back and test that area right here for support before we move on higher. And honestly, that would be a healthy move for the market. It's hard to say whether that will occur or not because we are so um, ravenously chasing stocks to the upside right now could be that we just continue to push on higher. So watch for that possibility of a resting pullback. And again, a lot could depend on that retail sales number this morning. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM has really surged big time over the last four trading, three trading days. And now we are in an interesting situation here in IWM. First note that we have a downtrend and we're up here testing that downtrend as resistance. We also have a 50 day moving average that is declining, providing some resistance. Notice our short term averages are already well below that 50 day moving average. So we really are after this big surge, we are really set up for that potential failure at a lower high if we were to get some bad news on that i could certainly see that possibility of this pulling back here and continuing to show that resistance of that 50-day moving average also keep in mind that we just have a tremendous amount of price resistance in this congestion area in the chart so it's really going to depend i think on whether how how we react to this news this morning will it be a bullish reaction or a bearish reaction um yet to be seen so kind of keep an eye on that we're right there on that edge where this could turn relatively bearish and fail at another lower high um, along that 50 day moving average. So watch for that close. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough, as we were setting new record highs, we were not dropping in the VIX yesterday. Now we've had last three days, a nice pullback and decline in that VIX, but yesterday it just stopped, boom, dead stopped and we didn't see any decline in that VIX, even though we were setting new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ. Now, what does that mean? Not really sure. I think it shows the nervousness around this number this morning. Remember, we had our consumer sentiment number come in at the lowest level since 2011. 
and we just kind of shook it off and ignored it. Now, what that consumer sentiment number would suggest is that retail buying is probably slowing. And we know we have a cliff coming here on September 6th. All of the stimmies, all of the unemployment bonuses go away. And the Biden administration has said they don't have a willingness to extend those. So at least at this point anyway, so kind of keep that in mind. Um, we could see that possibility that everyone is pulling back in and retail sales could be struggling here just a little bit with um, rising inflation prices and all of our food and fuel. Um, so it, it could be a serious number today and we'll have to see how we react to that number. Will it be, uh, will it come in as expected and the market kind of ignore? Will it come in worse than expected and re-engage those bears? Will it come in more, better than expected and just give those bulls reason to push on higher? Your guess is as good as mine, but this right here gives me just a little tiny bit of concern. So holding in there with a possible higher low, we're not setting new lows as we set new highs um, in the indexes. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122, I get a lot of questions about this. It is the four week new high, new low ratio. All they do is take all those stocks making four week new highs and compare that off of the four week new lows and they cr create this ratio. And notice that we trade between 100 and zero. Okay, now zero is the bullish reversal zone. 100 is the bearish reversal zone. If we reach up here, we've kind of overextended. If we're down here, we've sold off too much, and or at least in the short term. And when we take a look right here, we had a nice rally yesterday. We continue to stay up here. Notice we're above the 50 percent area here in the chart and we're right at that point where the big question is will we get that engagement will we find that reason for the bulls to push on through and kind of uh, push this right up into that bearish reversal extension or will we kind of follow this little trend that's been going on here in that chart and get that bearish move that pushes us back down. Um, good question. Watch for that number today. Um, uh, be very, very careful. Anything is possible. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101, as we continued to push up yesterday, had a little bit of decline. Now that's not a real big surprise. We had volumes declining yesterday as well. But we still run in this um, kind of an interesting situation. Is It is much better than it was just a few days ago um, down here on uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel here. So we do have more breadth in the market and that is good. Now the question is, can we sustain that? Will we st sustain that? What we don't want to see is if we get um, you know, some bears stirring around, we don't want to see those bears pushing through here, increasing that market breadth to the sell side. So that's what we don't want to see if, well, at least if, if you are bullish on the market, if you're a bear, that's exactly what you want to see. Let's take a look at our T2107. And I've been showing this a lot lately because this is kind of a unique situation. We're setting new record highs and yet we have a tremendous number of companies um, below their 50 day moving average. And you can see yesterday, the last couple of days, we've had this coming back up. So we are seeing a few of those being pulled back up by this, um, uh, by these new record highs, the bullishness that we've seen in the market. So we've seen a few of those push back up above their 200 day moving, moving average. But keep in mind, this is the percentage of stocks above their 50 day. So you can see we're running right around here in that 50% area, about half of the market, kind of below its 50 day moving average. Not a good sign here overall. And the question has to be asked, will, the, will these big techs be um, strong enough to lift these out of this downtrend pushing that back up and getting that true relief in the market where we get more of the market support to the upside. Or will these 
um, stocks below the 200 day moving average act like a boat anchor and start to pull down the high flying techs as they continue to sink. Big question to be answered here. Um, we're, we're truly in that situation where we have the haves and the have nots um, and um, whether or not, um, which way they're gonna tug on each other in this market. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at that economic calendar for today. And this is what I've been talking about all morning. We're going to have that durable goods order this morning. We'll want to keep an eye, um, excuse me, durable goods, not retail sales, durable goods. Um, my mistake. Um, durable goods orders this morning. We're going to watch those orders pretty carefully. That's going to be extremely important how those orders come in for the day. So watch that closely. And then also keep in mind, guys, that we have a petroleum status report this morning. That's going to be an interesting report to be keeping an eye on. Um, we have seen oil sector stocks perking up a little bit, but right this morning we have oil pulling back just a tiny little bit. Now, if we continue to see those orders, um, um, if those orders slip here as they're suggested to slip, if those orders slip, um, that might suggest that petroleum usage will could decline as well. So keep an eye on that. Um, if we get a surprise decline or, uh, you know, supplies drop, that's going to support those oil sector stocks. And that could really help IWM. If they come in a little bit higher, that can have the opposite effect. So watch that closely. So durable goods orders. I'm sorry, I kept repeating retail sales. Durable goods orders is what we're waiting for to this morning. Um, let's take a look at... Um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We've got earnings this morning. Um, we've got about 33 companies on the list for earnings. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. You want to also make sure and click that link below the title of the video. That link will take you back to the morning blog where you can get the full list of notables. I will not cover them all this morning because I'm running out of time. Let's take a look. We've got CRM that we'll be reporting today. We're also going to hear from like Dick Sporting Goods. Ooh, big, big pop here in Dick Sporting Goods. Nice move on that one this morning. Um, we're gonna hear from Ulta Beauty. Keep an eye on that one. We will also hear from NetApp today. So watch for that. And ADSK will be another that we'll want to be paying attention to this morning. So keep an eye on that. And once again, make sure you go check out that full list of notables this morning um, by clicking that link and going back to the blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen that these videos, you know, do that normal stuff every YouTuber talks about. Click that subscribe button. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video. If you feel the video is worthy, click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps the channel to continue to grow. Getting close to 23,500 subscribers. Thank you everyone, you guys are awesome. And also just a huge shout out to those that are supporting the, the, the market, supporting the channel. Um, with the buy me a coffee um, link below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for the day. And remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you're going to want to um, do your own due diligence track these um, stocks on your own find out whether or not the risk is um, is okay um, for you and it fits your trading plan let's take a look at a couple of these um, i've been really keeping an eye here on kroger and unfortunately Kroger, uh, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately because it's exactly what I want to see. Kroger is now in a pullback. We have a bit of an evening star pattern showing up here on this chart. But notice how strong this trend is in this chart. If this continues to rest or pull back, moving back toward this trend, I'm going to be watching this for a potential entry to move through. This is a consumer defensive stock. When the markets get a little bit spooked, 
when the markets start feeling a little bit of pressure, and we've been feeling that with these big volatility shocks, then we start moving towards some of these defensive sector areas. So watch that closely as that pulls back. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on utilities. Now, utilities have recently pulled back. We've just been in a tremendous upside move. Last couple of days, we've pulled back to this trend. Let's watch this area in here where we can try and engage some support and trend in here. See if that can continue to hold. XLU is another one of those defensive areas when the market gets a little bit worried we start moving toward dividend paying stocks to try and hold and move things higher um, you might want to take a look at some of the builders out there um, tol take a look at toll after its report yesterday um, in um, this chart notice we're breaking through and we're pushing on higher here it's kind of remarkable that we're seeing this bullishness when we're seeing mortgage applications decline. We're seeing all of that going on, but you cannot discount the fact that this is a bullish chart. Um, little double bottom hold right here, holding its downtrend as that support, trying to push on higher. And you can see gapping up this morning in this move. So any rest consolidation in here could set up that upside opportunity. So keep a close eye on toll. Um, in that same area, take a look at Fastenal. Now Fastenal had a little bit of pullback here last couple of days, but notice that's exactly what I wanted to see because when a stock breaks its support, the requirement for me is that stock has to recover that support and prove to hold it. So we've recovered, now we're trying to prove the hold. If we can rest in here a couple of days, I'd be looking for an upside move if it can hold in there on Fastenal with all of the bullishness going on in those stocks. I think it might be a good idea to keep a close eye on stocks like Pfizer. Now Pfizer had a, has had a tremendous run up, but we know Pfizer's received full FDA approval now on its vaccine. So if this can find some area in here that it can hold as support, watch that closely. Um, we know that the U.S. is continuing. We heard about it. Uh, Vice President Harris uh, donating one million doses uh, to Vietnam yesterday. These companies are still producing tremendous numbers in, um, in doses for coronavirus. So watch that in here and see if that can hold those supports in that chart looking good. If we take a look at um, over, overall, the healthcare sector has been extremely strong. And if you look into that healthcare sector ETF, all you gotta do is click one icon here in TC2000 and pull up a full list. You're gonna find a lot of stocks in here coming up, um, showing signs of bullishness um, out of bottoms. Lots of bullishness like um, Edwards Life Science. We talked about this yesterday in Right Way Options. Um, this is a very, very bullish chart and showing um, an opportunity for a long here. So watch that carefully. So there's a few stocks for you to consider today. Remember, it's going to be all about that durable goods um, number. Kind of keep an eye on that. Anything is possible after that number. And then also remember, as you plan forward, we've got that big GDP number tomorrow. And we're going to begin that Jackson Hole Symposium with Jerome Powell speaking on Friday, where we might gain a little bit more information about plans for taper. So kind of keep those things in mind. We got a lot of data coming our way. The market could move around quite a bit. Expect some volatility. All right, guys, have an awesome day. I wish you all great profits in your trading today. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.